You need to know this right now for May the 19th through May the 20th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for May the 19th through May the 20th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for May the 19th through May the 20th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for May the 19th through May the 20th, 2024. <laughs> Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. You guys, support the channel with links in the description for my store. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Leo, these are your cards, honey. So, Leo, you have the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Leo, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling this sense of betrayal. Clarify the 10 of swords for Leo. Clarify the 10 of swords. For Leo, clarify the Ten of Swords. For Leo, it is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Leo, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Leo, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Leo. Leo, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Now, Leo, I hope there was not some type of betrayal concerning children here. You can tell me that there was some type of betrayal from the past that you're just finding out about and you're in your feelings about, you can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture, and that's the betrayal. Leo, you could also tell me that you're using your intuition and searching your emotions on whether or not you're over a betrayal and wanting to reunite with this person. Leo, you have justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Leo, could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice. For Leo. Clarify justice. 
for Leo. Clarify justice for Leo. Leo, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Now, Leo, you know, you guys can be speaking on, you know, someone coming in to right this wrong here, this injustice, this betrayal. Leo, you can tell me you've come into some truth and clarity and you discovered that something was unfair, fair, balanced, or just. Could be discovering about some type of betrayal from the past or someone from the past being in the picture. And I hope it doesn't involve children. You can tell me that you're making a decision because something wasn't fair, balanced, or just. Or you're just using this sword to sever here. Hmm. Could be making a decision to deal with something in the justice system. Leo, you have the two of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? So Leo, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Clarify the two of wands for Leo. Clarify the two of wands for Leo. Clarify the two of wands for Leo. It is clarified with the page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift anything of value this is the news or message of it so leo some type of news about practicality money assets resources property accepting a gift giving a gift going out on a date or commitment clarify the page of pentacles for leo clarify the page of pentacles for leo clarify the page of pentacles for leo it is clarified with the empress could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Leo could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Leo. Clarify the Empress for Leo. Clarify the Empress for Leo. Dang, Leo, you're at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Leo, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Now Leo, you're in your head and you're needing to make a decision, okay? Now... This can be concerning, I don't know, maybe your abundance and practicality here. This can be concerning practicality and someone expecting or children. Children may be involved here. I don't know if you have to take up something in the justice system because of it. I don't know if this news that you're hearing, this betrayals that someone's expecting here. And it affects you guys' it's already established commitment or relationship. But I feel like you're worried about making a decision here. If you're worried about nurturing the relationship further with this person and getting back with them, reuniting after coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Leo, you have the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Leo, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed, 
or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Leo. Clarify the tower for Leo. Clarify the tower for Leo. It is clarified with the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Leo, you're telling me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. So Leo, there's some type of shocking shakeup, shocking revelation, a uh, breakup taking place, and you're hurt. You're disappointed here. You're mourning here. Either this betrayal is something that happened in the past that is being brought back up here. This betrayal is someone from their past being in the picture. Or this betrayal has something to do with children someone could be expecting here. Leo, you have the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Leo, listen, you could be walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Leo. It is clarified with the page of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Leo, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Leo. Clarify the page of wands for Leo. Clarify the page of wands for Leo. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stay more secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, but it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Leo, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For Leo, it is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Leo, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Leo, you can tell me that... You guys had a heated discussion or argument and you're walking away and going stagnant and becoming single. You can tell me that you found passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion. And this is the reason why you're going stagnant, going single and walking away from this person. Could even be deciding to, to speak to someone to take it to the justice system here. Could also, like I said, it could be an argument over your practicality, your coin slowing down tremendously here. Like I said, I don't know if it's like support for children or support here because someone's expecting. I don't know what it is, child. 
<sighs> I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for you and your partner, Leo. You guys, support the channel with links in the description for my store. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, new person. It was just a fling. We weren't getting along and I made a stupid decision. Now she won't leave me alone. She or he. New person. It was just a fling. We weren't getting along and I made a stupid decision. Now she or he won't leave me alone. Okay. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Leo. And it says, I'm starting to understand our connection. <laughs> Hindsight is 2020. Goodness. Leo, you need to know this right now for May the 19th to May the 20th, 2024. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.